And hello. This is um, a roundup of some microphones that I have. Uh, the microphone that I'm using um, to start things off with is this one. It's the um, Samson CO3 multi pattern studio condenser microphone. And it has a switchable 10 dB pad for handling signals with high SPLs. And it has a sp switchable high pass filter, which is uh, 12 decibels per octave at 100 hertz. And um, as with all these sort of uh, microphones, it requires 48 volt phantom power. Uh, you get um, a lot of microphone for your money with the, with this one. Um, with its polar patterns, you've got Super Cardioid, Omni, and Figure of Eight, and it uh, performs all these very, very well. It's a very nice microphone on saxophone, I found, and it's a pretty good drum overhead mic. And there is a, a USB version of this microphone also, which I've seen um, used a lot on YouTube, and uh, it's it's a very that that has a very good sound. I've had this microphone for a few years now, and um, it's a great value for money. You do get a lot of microphone for your money. So this is the Samson CO3 condenser microphone. Okay, and sticking with the Samson audio company, we have the VR88 ribbon velocity microphone. And this is a fairly um, sort of inexpensive microphone of this type. And um, the whole thing came with um, shock mount and yoke mount and a Samson Tortec, if I pronounced that right, 20 foot right angled XLR cable was included as well. And a small little pouch to put the microphone in. And the microphone and all of the accessories came with its own case. A very nice um, natural sounding microphone, it sounds to me. There's very little, in fact, I have no processing at all. It's just recorded straight via the Soundcraft mixer. And there's no um, equalization or anything at all. It's just, this is how it sounds from the microphone. So. So a very neat package all round. It has a bi-directional figure of eight pickup pattern and uh, an active head amplifier with 48 volt phantom power operation. So it's, um, it's a pretty versatile microphone. One can use it to record vocals, reed instruments, brass, piano, strings, drums, and uh, guitar amps. I think a, a bit of care would need to be taken because of the uh, very thin ribbon element that the microphone has. I've got this microphone set up in, in its um, shock mount with a, just a popper stopper. So this is the Ribbon Velocity VR88 microphone. Okay, and here we have an AKG D80. This microphone I've had for about 27 years, and this really isn't anything at all that I haven't recorded with these mics. You name it, I pretty much chuck these mics up to whatever really akg don't make these anymore uh, i'm not quite sure I, I don't know when they stopped making them but this microphone is is a cardioid microphone and it is a dynamic microphone these uh these are the only dynamic microphones i, I have i've always liked these uh, the d80 and i just rather like the sort of flat neutral sound of the d80 a very nice microphone very well made uh if one uh, has one of these lying around it's well worth um keeping hold of it because it's a it's a very good microphone, and I just thought I'd just dig this one out just to see how this one sounds in comparison to the other mics. So this is the AKG D80. Okay, and finally, this is the Rode NT1A Studio Condenser Microphone, and this is one of a matched pair of mics I've got. I've had this a few years, and um, yeah, I like them. I've used them... Um, on drums, uh, overhead mics on drums, and got very good results. A uh, nice full sound. It is a very, very sensitive microphone, and I've um, used it in um, various situations and uh, recorded a, a choir with, with these mics and uh, got a very nice balance, very nice sound all around. Of course, with them having a very large capsule. And these mics are just a, a cardioid a polar pattern. It has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and it's a very well made microphone from Rode which do make good mics indeed well worth um, ch checking out their other mics as well but I'd recommend these for uh, most applications as of all condenser microphones of, of, of this type it requires 48 volt phantom power and that's about it really I, I, I'd agree with the fact that it's also um, a very very quiet mic it's, it is very impressive um, in terms of the fact that there's very little noise, if any noise at all, 
although this particular recording might not be a very good example, but, but it gives an idea of the sound of this microphone. So there we are, that's the Rode NT1A. And there we are, that concludes this uh, roundup of a few microphones. Do what you think to the sound, and uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>